Hello again, this is Christopher Wasanya, President of Atlantic Waste and Power. Uh, we're going to show you our preparations for our upcoming trip to Nigeria. We've gone out and made sure um, that whomever it is that does work for us, especially Kwame who is going to be climbing on the roof, Astria, he is going to be safe. So here is a helmet uh, in, in, US, in the US, the laws require that there is head covering when you're walking past a certain height. So this meets that standard. Reflective clothing, so you can see where it is at any given time. A lanyard with a clip at the end of it. This arrests falls. And then a harness that he wears so that, God forbid, he falls. It would hold him in place and that lanyard will stop him. And this will is rated up to 400 pounds and emits OSHA and C and CSA standards. We have our levels, two different lengths, our small level. This we makes sure that when we do your installation, you don't have um, you know, the panels sitting crookedly, they are sitting pretty level. And as you can see in there, the liquid, that tells you that whatever I have on here is pretty level, but on this end it's not, and on that end it's not. And then we have a longer one, as you can see. This is about uh, three and a half, four feet long. Okay, our solar panels on average are anywhere between 3 to 4 feet by 3 feet. So they're pretty big. And then your basic tools. A crowbar. Uh, we use this to open boxes and we use it to shift things. Our vice channel locks. These are channel locks. Our vice grip. Uh, this is one of my favorites. I use it for everything. Uh, this looks like a plier but it's actually a stripper. You use it to strip wires. We also have a better version of it. You could strip different size wires, as you can see. This lets you strip different size wires. Um, screwdrivers, they do come in and I don't realize how important these things are. Additional vice grips. These are the old style, and this one is the new style. Um, then we have our power tools. We elected to have battery power tools instead of electric power tools and the simple reason being Nigeria right now doesn't have um, consistent power. So we, bought, we purchased a couple of 20 volt items. This is a light. What this light lets you do is you can see what you're doing. Okay, it's not, the battery isn't plugged in because I have the battery, one of them is charging and the other one is plugged into a device already. Uh, this is a grinder slash cutting tool so you can use it to grind and you can use it to cut and it cuts metal these are the bits that let you cut metal that's a battery on the bat on being charged here is our cutting tool our sawzall as you can see it's our sawzall and this will cut metal and will cut wood and as you can see it has a 4 amp hour uh, 20 volt lithium battery the blades. This blade will cut metal, this will cut wood, and this will cut metal. As you can see, it's labeled by metal right there. By metal, and they're different, it will cut different um, thickness. So, this is for thick, and this is for medium, and this is for wood. Okay, here is our pretty impressive for carpenters, you love this. This lets you cut wood. Okay, and as you can see, very, very dangerous looking blade. That's why it has this shield, this cover to prevent you from losing your fingers. If you move, if you remove the shield, if the shield is not in place properly, it would not run. And then here's our drill. Okay, uh, it lets us unscrew, screw things in, or push things into whatever it is we're doing. So like these panels are attached to mounts on a rack. You could use it to tighten and loosen. Our reflective vest, I'm, sure, I don't, I'm not sure I went over it, but if I didn't, we're going over it again. Our hard hat, required by law. Um, if you're working at anything over six foot, you're required to wear a hard hat. So there it is. And what am I missing? I think I have a, I've covered everything. So this is um, Atlantic Western Power preparing for our trip to Nigeria next month. And we're very, very excited about making this trip, okay? So you can visit us on www.atlanticwastepower.com. 
www.atlanticwastepower.com. Like us on Facebook, Atlantic Waste Power, or you can send an email for additional information at info at atlanticwastepower.com. Okay, we look forward to giving you some more updates after we get to Nigeria in May. Thank you for watching.